Right, going to jack up the old girl now. Going to get the wheels off. We've also got a um, new exhaust clamp and the gear selector bush thingies to replace as well when it's up in the air. Right then, currently changing the... Oh, I never know what it's called. The coupling for the gear change. See, there's the old one out there. I did go for the polyurethane one. And purely because it's just got a bit of an oil leak up there. So just figured it might last a bit longer if the rubber doesn't get soft. Oh, there's a dog in my face. I'm struggling to fit the new like nut and bolt thing that goes for it. So I've just got the old one up in there I just need to tighten. I've put Loctite on the square bolt as well. And well, I'm willing to find some wire to wire that up because it wasn't wired up before. Right, got that on now. And I've put some wire around it just to keep it in place. There wasn't any on it before, so put that on. I've used copper wire. Um, but probably won't be able to reuse the copper wire, but I'm going to carry the old pin as a spare anyway. Because um, you hear of these red ones breaking up sometimes after a few years, I'm tempted just to put a couple of cable ties around it. Uh, I probably won't film that if I do that. Oh, it's not too bad with a couple of cable ties on there actually. Just more for peace of mind more than, more than anything. I'm sure it won't be a problem. Well then, just going to do the exhaust clamp now. Just got a new one from um, Just Campers. So I'm hoping to change this exhaust at some point, but it's just a beast of one on it, but it would do for now. So I've just bought a new clamp to go on it. As this one's fallen off on route somewhere. And it's on there, it's a bit tight with that bar at the back. But um, I think that exhaust must be bent. It's the other side, you can see there, um, this side of the bar. And there it's over the bar, but anyway, it would do for now. But, Glad I checked the fuel hose because that's really, really cracked. Considering it's only been on there for two or three years, and obviously the camper van's not really been used. Um, bought some stuff from Halfords, um, purely because it's only like four quid a meter as opposed to, and this is about 17, 18 pounds a meter in just campers. All right, there's a new one made up. Um, I might have made a bit of a mistake. So there it says coding on that bit. Maybe that was the stuff I got from just campers, and that was just an off piece I put on it. Maybe I didn't have enough of something. I surely can't remember what I'd done like three years ago. So, but yeah, it looks like I'll be getting some more of this stuff because that looks alright. But for now, I'm just going to put this hose back in. Right then, on to tyres now. Um, these are just some temporary tyres we put on it just to wheel it about in. Um, these are proper commercial van tyres, 18514 Cs. Um, we'll be popping them on myself for the tyre levers. Um, I'll say next time you'll see they'll be all on and fitted to the vehicle. So I've just painted the outer edges white just to tidy it up a bit.